benefits of open science and technological innovation for the space sector were at the heart of the week-long event here in Frascati, Italy. Let's take a look back at the second ever Fee Week event. Building on the previous event, Fee Week 2019 explored how satellite data, coupled with new digital technologies, can bring benefits to business, industry and science. Fee is for us uh, the idea of get, getting really disruptive ideas into space. Disruptive ideas, they may come internally from sp activities within space, but also from the outer world. So from uh, entertainment industry or from other areas, uh, mechanical engineering, whatever. So fee means for me really to go beyond what we did so far. Looking beyond, Fee Week offered a forum for emerging space investors, tech leaders, entrepreneurs, space scientists and Earth observation researchers to come together to explore new opportunities for cutting-edge technologies such as artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is really a game changer for ESA and for the space. It enables us to have completely new types of missions, for example, having AI chips on board, being able to pre-filter our data or take autonomous decisions for our spacecrafts. Secondly, AI helps us in data exploitation, giving us the capacity to digest huge volumes of data and to derive information and actionable insights from these data. And last but not least, we have the area of internal efficiency, process improvement, for example, translation, speeding up that process. That is a third area of employing AI for ESA. Pushing the frontiers of AI in space, ESA will soon launch FISAT. FISAT will be the first satellite embarking artificial intelligence and will detect uh, clouds on the hyperspectral uh, image of uh, our sensor. We have uh, implanted the brain on the satellite and uh, this will be the first time that uh, this will fly next year. Uh, they are working the Taking this concept into the next phase, the next FISAT challenge was announced this week by ESA's Director of Earth Observation Programs. And AI. The challenge invites ideas to develop FISAT 2 and explore new frontiers using artificial intelligence in space in an interactive way. The challenge will be open, the best idea will be winning and uh, we will launch another FISAT in, a, in some time uh, as a result of this challenge. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're offering from our side uh, money. Uh, we offer 1 million euros as a prize or as a, an award to the winning team to build the satellite, but also the ESA expertise. Uh, together with us, we, uh, we are putting uh, expertise and money together and uh, launch another challenge, another exciting project. Artificial intelligence does not need to ride on a rocket to benefit the space community. Over the course of the week, researchers presented an array of projects on how satellite data can be used with AI, machine learning and deep learning to improve the understanding of our planet and our daily lives. In my uh, project, Automated Sea Ice Products, we make use of uh, Earth observation data from the Copernicus program, the Sentinel-1 system, to automate uh, sea ice mapping used for marine navigation. I'm using uh, machine learning and other data science methods to study uh, conservation efforts uh, around the Netherlands. For that, I'm using remote sensing data coming from Sentinel and also from other sources and trying to integrate all this information to help conservation efforts. Satellite Earth observations are crucial to estimate the impacts of global supply chains. In the Fine Print project, we use satellite data to measure the size or the area of mines worldwide and we also use satellite data to estimate the crop production like soybean, palm oil and others and its impacts. VWeek gave researchers the opportunity to explore new tools being developed that offer insight into Earth as an interconnected system. Computer and Earth observation scientists are harmonizing different types of data in what they call data cubes. Uh, a data cube is a set of variables aligned in space and time, already pre-processed, so they're ready for analysis so we can look at some really interesting patterns in the data. So specifically, I'm working using a system called the Earth System Data Lab, which is a data cube, to look at the relationships between geodiversity, the diversity of the Earth system, along with um, photosynthesis and climate. 
So traditionally people will look at just climate, but using the Earth System Data Lab, we've been able to scale up an analysis looking at the whole system, so to look at a wider variety of what the Earth is and to uncover some really interesting relationships. It's important to remember that all of this new technology has the end goal of benefiting humankind. While scientists and researchers work to improve the observations of our planet with new technologies, entrepreneurs focus on bringing these data products to the end user. We empower entrepreneurs around the world to develop uh, breakthrough solutions that solve uh, food and ag's prevailing challenges. And we've recently partnered with ASA and we're providing uh, the Sentinel satellite data to our entrepreneurs to build solutions upon. The event offered the opportunity to solidify partnerships and create new opportunities between European research groups, industry and space agencies, such as the investment in the Mantis satellite for the energy and mining sector. The UK Space Agency is uh, very pleased to witness the signing of the Mantis contract. It's our first uh, project through the Incubed program, um, which we are the, the lead funders of. Um, this new nano satellite brings together expertise from uh, UK companies and uh, from ESA to develop this uh, new uh, targeted nano satellite um, for the energy and mining sector, um, which will be delivering a, a data delivery service, data intelligence service um, for, for the end customers. On the sidelines of Fee Week, multiple events were held on a variety of topics from science communication to training sessions on data processing tools and even a boot camp to develop innovative solutions to solve big industry challenges using Earth observation data. This year the project was related to the energy sector. Uh, we had to come up with a way of leveraging artificial intelligence with satellite data to essentially create a solution that could be useful commercially. And yeah, we all come from kind of diverse backgrounds, so it was a bit of a learning challenge, a learning curve to begin with, but it's been a fantastic experience and look forward to developing it further. And this wraps up the coverage of this year's Fee Week. A big thank you to the organisers, the participants and ESA's Web TV crew. I'm Ramina Percy on behalf of ESA. Have a great day.